Hey guys, Aussie Craig here. It's getting quite warm here today. Last night was in the low 20s and now yeah, we're into the upper 30s. That's the Australian summer for you. Anyway, the other day I was having a yarn with someone about um, the difficulties of lighting a fire when it can get wet and you get caught out with no timber. And I mentioned um, one of the tricks that I do to always get myself out of trouble. And it's not rocket science, guys. And what I do is I always carry a timbers walking stick with me. And, um, you know, walking stick has advantages of many things. Um, you can use it to prop the fire. You can use it to break away leaves and debris and break down uh, small branches. Um, you can use it for a defence if uh, need to against a snake or something like that. Um, disadvantages, they're a bit heavier compared to say a uh, walking pole, lightweight walking pole that you can buy. Uh, but the advantages outweigh yeah, uh, the disadvantages. The beauty about timber is if you get stuck in a situation where it rains, everything's wet, you can't find any dry timber. You've already got it with you. You know, I can easily carry and cut a um, branch from somewhere. I can find a branch anywhere to use as a walking stick. But if I take a dry one in with me, this is well seasoned. That means that um, to get a fire going, I've already got the timber that will, I can use to light one. If the timber's wet, um, I find that if you cut it small enough, the wet timber will soon dry out if you get the heat into it. The trick is that you need to get heat, your fire hot enough to be able to catch and start drying out your wet timber. So if you cut your wet timber up small enough and so that it will quickly dry, you can easily get a fire going with your walking stick. And tell you what, if you can't get it going using this, he shouldn't be out there anyway, guys. Anyway, cheers. That's all for me today. Speak to you soon.